Hi my friends, welcome to this new blog. This is going to be about how to care for your RAV. Um, whether you're a new player or a seasoned player, there is some maintenance in taking care of these, but it's really simple, won't take you very much time, and there's a lot of different products to use to clean these and care for them. So let's take a look at what I use, and I can give you some suggestions for other things to try. Let's take a look. Much like playing in the RAV, there's no one correct way to care for it. Your real objective when you clean it is to wipe surface oils from your skin away from it and also any salty um, material that may come in contact with it through your sweat uh, or just dirty hands in general. So the number one easiest way to prevent rust on these is something to wipe it down each time you use it or you let someone else use it. Let's take a look at how you do that. If you can find one, I'd recommend picking up a microfiber cloth. And these are just cloths that have really fine stitching, uh, and they won't scratch the finish. Oftentimes you'll find them in places that sell car cleaners, or a lot of grocery stores in the U.S. have these. These are really cheap. You can buy a pack of five of them for a couple dollars, and it's worth getting a pack just so you have them. So every time you play it, um, you can wipe this down. And this takes two seconds. You just Use it, make sure you don't see any fingerprints on it, and then flip it over and do the same thing on this side. And this is something simple you can do every time you play it to decrease the chances of rust. If you're looking to protect it further, which I recommend you do, I would recommend using one of many products that are available to protect steel. The one that I use is the Frog Lube Extreme CLP. This, as well as phoenix oil and coconut oil even, can be used to protect these. There is a hydrophobic covering on them, so there's some resistance to rust. However, if you're in a moist place like I live, or you play a lot, or you busk a lot with it, I really recommend investing in one of the cleaning oils to use. So, let's take a look at how I apply this, and how much I use as well. Now, for this example, I'm using a liquid. So this is really easy to apply. I'm just applying a thin coat in a circle around the center. You can see that. And I'm taking the microfiber cloth, making sure it's clean, and wiping around the RAV, making sure I get the sides of the tongues, the base of it, all around it, anywhere that you come in contact with. So you don't need a lot of it, you just need enough for a thin layer and do the same on the other side. Apply whatever oil you're going to use. And wipe this off. Now, the benefit of this particular oil is that it's so thin. They also make a frog lube paste that uh, has a consistency of almost butter. And that works very well in protecting it. But I just find this one easier to work with quickly, because for the paste you have to put it in the sun sometimes to warm it up, but um, my friend Felix uses the paste and has great results with that. So really any product will work well on these. And I know Phoenix Oil has a product as well that smells a lot better than Frog Loop. Um, so I recommend trying whatever product you like and seeing what works for you. I often have people ask me how many times a week they need to coat it in Frog Loop. And I would say that really depends on how much you play and where you play. I bring these with me everywhere to waterfalls, busking, performing. So these are really heavily used instruments. So I usually will apply frog lube two to three times a week. Uh, and I try to wipe it down whenever I think of it because it just takes two seconds to wipe it. Um, that being said, if you're not a frequent player, you might be able to push it out to once a week. Um, it all depends on how dry or moist your climate is. So, you'll be able to gauge just by watching your RAV. One thing I want to point out as well, if you see little blemishes in it, different lighter colored spots like here, that does not necessarily mean that your RAV is rusting. Rust has a very clear visual cue, and it'll be kind of cloudy in an area with little tiny pricks of red. When they heat treat these instruments, they typically will have these little imperfections on them, those are not rust. So if you receive an instrument with lighter blue areas, it's not rusted, and don't worry. 
you follow these tips, you should have a RAV that's rust-free for a very long time. If you do encounter rust, and you may, it's very simple to remove, and it's purely a cosmetic issue. Your instrument is not ruined, it will not change the tuning. If you have a little bit of rust, uh, it'll just be in little tiny areas, you can remove it with something called the Miracle Cloth, or Miracle Eraser, and this is, can be purchased online in many places, and it's a metal polisher. And what it does is remove the surface oxidization, as well as protect it from future oxidization. This will remove some of the lighter coating because the rust has started to eat through that area, but it's cosmetic. There's no change in sound, there's no change in playability, and there's really no change in protection as long as you're consistently wiping it down. So it's not the end of your instrument if you're rust. It will be unlikely to occur, however, if you follow the steps that I've outlined in this video. Happy playing, and I hope you're all well, and I look forward to talking to you next week. Stay well.